Hello friends, welcome again to my channel where we discuss the science behind this world of medicine. So today we will understand what exactly is this RT-PCR test for COVID-19? What do you mean by the CT value which is reported on your RT-PCR COVID test? And whether the CT value has any significance for the severity of the disease or not? So RT-PCR basically stands for reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction test. So the coronavirus is a RNA virus, whereas there are other kinds of viruses which are DNA virus. An RNA virus has only one strand of genetic material, whereas a DNA virus has two strands of genetic material. Medical science has technology which can detect two strands or the DNA viruses very easily. However, the technology for measuring the RNA viruses or single strand viruses is limited. So in effect, what is done is the RNA viruses are first converted into a DNA for detection in a test, which is called as the RT-PCR test. So what happens is initially the single strand RNA of a coronavirus is converted into a dual strand DNA. This process is called as reverse transcriptase. Now this DNA is amplified through a process called as polymerase chain reaction. In this process, there is amplification of this DNA. The amplification helps in multiplication of this virus which is taken in the sample. So this is the test which is called as the RT-PCR or the reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction test. Now during this multiplication in the polymerase chain reaction, there is a point at which the virus can be detected. That point is signified as yes, positive or negative. Now what happens is during this polymerase chain reaction, the virus is multiplied in cycles like cycle 1 of multiplication, cycle 2 of multiplication, cycle 3 of multiplication. So the number of cycles required for multiplication at which the virus can be detected is called as the cycle threshold or the CT value. For example, if your CT value is 17, this in effect means that after conversion of the RNA of the coronavirus to a DNA, it ran through 17 cycles of multiplication for it to be detected. So this is what means by the CT value. Now with this explanation, I'm sure you also understand that more the cycles required for multiplication, lesser was the coronavirus present in your body because what happens is if there is more coronavirus in your body the number of cycles of multiplication required will be lesser to detect on the machine hence a person who has a ct value of 17 has higher load of coronavirus or more coronavirus in the nasal cavity or the throat than the person who has a CT value of let's say 27. So what this means is a person who has had 27 as a CT value in that person whatever sample was taken from the nasal cavity or from the throat that sample was subjected to 27 cycles of multiplication for it to be detected. So a higher CT value signifies that there is less virus available in your nasal cavity and throat and lower CT value signifies that there is more virus available in the nasal cavity and your throat. So this in effect also means that if your CT value is less, you have more virus in your nose and throat and you have higher chances of spreading it to other people. Whereas if your CT value is higher, there are lesser chances or lesser availability of coronavirus in your nose and throat and there are lesser chances for you to spread that virus. Now, our Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR says that 35 such cycles have to be run by the lab for quantifying that yes, it is positive or negative. So, if 
a lab runs this multiplication cycle 35 times and still coronavirus is not detected, lab can easily declare the person as COVID negative. However, if the coronavirus is detected in less than 35 cycles, then the lab reports the test as COVID positive and also reports the number of cycles of multiplication required for detection. This tells the load of the coronavirus. However, this does not tell the severity of the disease. Severity of the disease is not proportional to CT value. Why? Because CT value only tells the virus load in the nasal cavity and the throat. So there can be different reasons why this CT value may vary. If the sample was not collected properly, then the CT value may come out to be on the higher side or even the person may be reported as negative in spite of having coronavirus. Also, during the initial phases of infection, the CT value will be higher because the virus load is less. But as the person passes through second, third or fourth day of the infection, the CT value may reduce or the virus may multiply in the body. And if you take a sample on the fourth or fifth day, your CT value may be less and you may be COVID positive. What in effect this means is that in a cycle of or in a phase of coronavirus, in the initial phase, you may be COVID negative even after having coronavirus or you may be COVID positive with a very high CT value. As the coronavirus infection spreads in your body, you may have CT value which is lesser. CT value reduces, that means the coronavirus is multiplying in your body. And as you move towards the phase wherein you are getting healthy, coronavirus is getting removed from your body, the CT value may slowly and slowly again start increasing until it becomes a RT-PCR negative COVID test. So guys, please note that CT value is not directly related to the severity of the disease. Severity of the disease, I will explain in another video, but your RT-PCR test CT value only means the quantum of RNA available right now in your body and that may increase or decrease as the phase of the cycle of coronavirus you are in. I hope this video was useful. If you would like to add, like me to add something to this video, please mention in the comment box. And yes, if you liked my video, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.